Hi, in this short video, I will show you the best PDF reader for Windows and you can use this software for reading PDF files, for editing PDF files and also for creating new PDF files. And the best thing is this is completely free which is available on Microsoft Store which means that this is safe and very easy to download. Basically, I work with PDF files on daily basis so I've tried many softwares like Adobe Acrobat, Foxic Reader and so on. And I also have tried many online websites for making and editing PDF files which work fine but I've needed an offline source and offline software which does all these tasks for me. And trust me this one is very lightweight and free so let me show you how you can download this. So just open up the Microsoft Store on your PC and you can search for and here just write Zodo. And you will see many of softwares from Zodo. So this one is the Zodo PDF. So just open this. And as you can see Zodo PDF, PDF Reader, View, Edit, Annotate by Zodo. So you can do all these tasks with Zodo PDF Reader. And this is completely free. So once you search for this, you will get a get button here. Just click on that. And this will install automatically on your system. And once you install this, just click on launch to open this. And as you can see, this is very lightweight and very powerful. So as you can see, you can browse any PDF file, you can create PDF files and you can find more settings here. For example, if I click on settings, I can change the theme. So let's pick the dark one and this will restart our app. Now as you can see, the theme is dark. If I go back to settings, so here you can change the language, the default one is English and you can import custom fonts. So for example, your PDF file contains some special fonts, then you can upload those fonts here. Let's go back. And here you can browse any PDF file, you can create a new PDF file. So for creating, you just need to click on create. And here you can give it a title, for example, simple PDF. You can choose the paper type which is line, grid, graphed and dotted. So this is completely dependent on you. For example, I choose blank. Here you can choose the page size. The default one is letter. You can choose A4 and so on. You can also change the page orientation. I think the text is not clear. So let's go back to the theme and change this back to the light version so that you guys can see. Okay. Let's go to create and again you can write a document title. You can choose the paper type, the paper size, orientation and number of pages. So once you did this, just click on create PDF. And as you can see, we get this blank page. Now in order to create the PDF, we can go to edit. And now we can import images, we can write text, we can draw shapes and so on. So basically this is very powerful. Now, for example, I want to write some text, so I'll just click this. You can also go to the text here, we can change the font size, we can change the color and so on. We can also change the font family and so on. So once you finalize this, just click here and write something. Now if I want to put an image, I can click this and click anywhere in the file. And now, now here from files, you can also click a picture from your camera. So let's click this. And let's choose this image. We can drag and drop this, we can resize this. And so on. Now you can check all of these options. For example, we can draw something like this. We can obviously change the colors and so on. We can remove the line and so on. So this is how you can create a PDF file. Now you can save this. You can also draw shapes and so on. So this is how you can create a PDF file using this. Now let's close this. And let's open up a simple PDF file. So I have this sample. 
let's zoom this and now we can edit this as well so if i click edit we got all those options now you can use this for reading any pdf file for example you are reading a book you want to put a shape like this you can do this you can also put comments so for example here we want to put a comment and that something like this is comment and if someone click this they will see the comment we can underline something we can cross something like this and so on so this is dependent on you that how you want to edit the file and so on so this is how you can edit an existing pdf file you can save the changes if you want i'll just close this So that was it for this video. This is a PDF reader by Zodo. You can download this directly from the App Store. And this is just a PDF reader editor and PDF creator. So hope the video will help you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next.